Hi, and welcome to the Crunch Guide to Issuing Dividends Using Your Crunch Accounting Software. So in our last section, we talked about the different ways you can pay yourself, and we looked at setting up a payroll run using the Crunch software. Now we're going to take a look at taking dividends. Now, your dividends are quite different to a salary. Dividends are a share of the profit that's available in the company. And in order to take a new dividend, there must be available profit for you to take. So if you've spent all your profit, you're not going to have any dividends available. Now, once we enter the date for our dividend, we can see that the system here does a calculation that will tell us how much dividends are available. Now, the really, really important part here is that if your account isn't up to date, then this calculation will not be accurate and will not be correct. And what that will mean is that you may end up taking either too much or too little out of your company in dividends. Now that can obviously cause you some problems and we really want to avoid that where possible. So make sure that your account is up to date and then you know for a fact that you can trust this number is correct. So the system is telling me that I've got an available figure here for dividends and I'm gonna to choose to take some of that now as a new dividend. Now be aware if you have more than one shareholder in your company, then your dividends will need to be split between the shareholders accordingly. So if you have two shareholders and you both have 50% of the shares, then you'll both get half of every dividend that you issue. So here we can see I can record a withdrawal if I want to show that my dividend has been paid out as well. Now please bear in mind that a dividend in itself is not a record of a transaction. Once we save the dividend, we can view the voucher here or we can email that out. And if we look at the dashboard page, you may notice that the amount owed to the director here has now gone up by the amount of the dividend. So when you issue a dividend, that doesn't reflect that that money has been paid. It simply means that you become owed that money. Now we're gonna look at how you actually record the payment of that money in our next section. So this concludes our quick look at setting up and issuing dividends using your Crunch accounting software.